and a happy Merry Christmas to you. We're about to go. Uh, it looks like my battery may die. This video is probably a bust. I'm going to try it anyway. You know what? I should probably edit the video before I even film the intro to this thing. Where was I going with this? Oh, I'm actually, this is kind of also a test with the studio lights here. I got new lighting, better green screen. We'll see how that works out. Let's adjust this one and see if that helps. Hey, that helps a little. I like that. Maybe it's gonna work out okay. How's that work? Let's see. Get everything adjusted proper. How's that? Can you see where my lights are? And my glasses? Now can you tell? Can you tell what's going on here? No, let me just uh let me just show you what's happening here. So this is what I see when I'm sitting here in the studio. This is it, the Cal O Studio. I got my little spinny chair here that I sit on. Oh, what happened? Are we out of focus? Yeah, we lost it. Got the electric lavalier mic right here. And that's it, my little handy cam here, my little handheld camera. Stick that back right there and voila. Christmas present to myself. I've recently moved the studio. It was in another part of the room. I was right in front of the door. It was a big hassle to come in and out of here because of the lights. I and mean, there was a light directly overhead. So I was able to have good lighting. The green screen worked out real well. Well, then I moved it over here on the other side of the room, did a little rearranging, moved the whole screen over. So I'm kind of tucked in the corner away from everything now. But when I moved it, I realized there's like the top half became dark where the old light was. And I got this new lighting here. It was kind of like a self gift uh, ordered from the old Amazon. 50 bucks. Yeah, you can't really beat it. I mean, $50 lighting. So it works pretty good. So I've probably got a total of like maybe 200 if you count the table and the plug and the lighting, the bulbs, the green screen, a couple of accessories. I, I, I used a, I used an old trampoline pole to, to secure the green screen up at the top there. That was a freebie. And then I had some extra connections and stuff in the garage. But if you add all of it up, not including the camera, of course, you're looking at about a $200 studio right here, green screen studio. And I think I've got it upgraded just about how I like it. I've got just a, a card table in front of me that I put the stuff on. And maybe if I'm using my computer to make a video. Family's here, guys. I got to go. Much love. Kyle out. So I got this case of insomnia. I can't sleep. It's 3.36 in the morning. Now, I'm sure most of you regular viewers know that I bought a replacement camera for the one that I used to have, just like this one. Well, I've been doing a little surgery on it. And I think I fixed it. <laughs> we have got the touch screen working again. We got the time. Oh, shit. look at this. We don't want any of that. We're going to X out of that. Oh, look. Look at it. Is the microphone working? Does it? Yeah, it hears me and everything. I mean, the body looks kind of... I've broken all the plastic off. None of the buttons work anymore. But I got the touch screen working. And that that's huge. That is so huge. Yeah, what a mess it is. But um, I, I got the camera to work. Let's put a card in and see if we can get it to record. Why don't we? Let's see. How does the card come in? <laughs> <laughs> Accessing, please wait. You want to see what the back of it looks like? <laughs> oh, I cannot believe we got this to work again after all this time. I just thought, what do I have to lose, right? I mean, what? Maybe I should get in the light, like where the where it looks better, huh? So, what did I have to lose? So I got this camera, seems to be on and working, and uh, I don't know, let's try to record a video on it and see what's up. Let's try that out. Yeah, so I think it's recording, I think it's recording. This is the good, well, I guess they're both good now. I guess I fixed this one. I mean, look at look at all the extra parts here, huh? I, I cracked into it, I, I broke some pieces off, all the buttons, the screws, I broke some wires loose, but the stupid thing seems to be working now. Let's sync them up, why don't we, huh? Did that sync it up? <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> got, got dual cameras. We're on the dual vlog. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not even sure what I did. Like, I'm, 
th there was some ribbon connections in here. Yeah, this is this is kind of what my what my recording studio looks like now, just like a behind the scenes type deal. Apparently, I've got a janked up ass camera now. Oh, there's a little blinky light inside of there. I never knew that was there. There's a power button. Yeah, yeah, we got the we got the screen here. The microphone seems to work. I still got a mic jack over here. Yeah, there's my there's my powered mic. That's how that all works. I straight up tripping. Like I thought it was just a lost cause, like a you know never gonna work again type thing. Yeah, but hey, it uh it seems to be working now. You know, pardon my state of undress. I'm just up in the middle of the night or early in the morning, just tinkering on shit. You know, I had a little bitty screwdriver. I started taking screws out. It, it got to the point where I plucked some wires loose to a little speaker. I broke one piece of plastic, but the plastic was already broke on this thing. Like I had glued it back together before it quit working. Maybe I was rough on it. I've been a little more tender with this one. Maybe I can reserve this one as a studio camera and just leave it sitting just like this and leave it on all the time and see how long it runs. <laughs> we could do we could do like a hell of an experiment. I'm not sure. If it wasn't for the Patreon supporters, like, I mean, I probably still would have bought it, but thanks guys. You know, you guys bought the replacement camera for this. I never would have bet, well, I didn't bet the $400 that they were asking to replace it whenever I called Sony and was like, hey, can I send this camera off and have somebody fix it? And they were like, yeah, it costs $400 just to have us look at it. So that's half the price of a new camera. They don't want to gamble. So that gamble wasn't worth it to me. But for what this little screwdriver cost me years ago when I bought it for something else, well, I've hacked the camera, I guess. Don't ask me how I fixed it. I found like a like a possible loose ribbon wire thing. And then I looked around the sky. Actually, when I was tearing it apart, the screen completely quit working. Like it blacked out. And that's when I got kind of jiggy with it, started crunching shit open to see just what was going on inside of this camera. And in the process of doing that, the screen started, it started glowing again and the button started working on it. So I was able to operate the camera set it up and here we are. So my, my mind's blown. Yeah, middle of the night, fixed my camera yet broke it worse at the same time. Like there's zero protection left on this thing. It, it'll it never travel again, sadly. It's, um, we'll do a little function test. We'll do a little off on and I'm gonna see if this card actually recorded. It, it says recording here and it's bleeping red. I should probably put some clothes on if I'm gonna do a recording anyway. How white am I? I'm like, like El Whito. Yeah, let's let's check that out, guys. So, uh, yeah, like much love, Kyle out. I, I don't even want to. I don't, I don't even want to do my thing because touch it wrong and it might. Uh, ah, it made some shit came up on the screen. What was that? <laughs> I'm tripping, guys. I'm tripping. Check it out.